Today I have something pretty cool to show you. It's a pulse lengthener. Um, let me turn my game sound up. Um, 26% is always what I have it at. Um, so this is a really easy to make pulse extender. Now this one is on for approximately um, four and a half seconds. I think it was. It was a day before a day ago that I made this. Um, this one is four and a half seconds also about the same except this one's actually a little bit less but um it takes all these repeaters and every time you want to extend a little more it's, you're gonna have to tile this design one more time so every time you want to extend this signal by like three I don't know what is it three ticks or something I don't know what's four divided by I'm, I'm not gonna do the math right now but every time you want to extend it by that little much you have to add in another like two more repeaters and a piece of dust and um, that's if you're doing it the resource efficient way and this is the way that most people have done it before and um, I have a new way to show you that I hope will catch on this has many uses I'll show that at the end of the video but right now let's just um get starting to build it or whatever <laughs> so I'm gonna build it over here on this side I'm gonna go hmm, let's go one up because you don't need that much uh, it's three by three by two and it's pretty compact. It's the smallest one out there, I think. Um, and yeah, uh, <laughs> there's not much to say about it. It's pretty tiny. Uh, you need your droppers facing towards each other, and then hoppers facing towards each other, and then a torch like that. You, then you're going to need a comparator like that, a piston facing down, and a redstone block next to that. Now, uh, you're done, basically. All you need to do is place down your button, place any item in the top uh, dropper and then um, the amount of items that you want in here now this is where math comes in as you can see on the screen um, it's it's not that complicated but it is a formula that you want to jot down if you want precise timings it's uh, well precise enough because I, I haven't really done too much looking too much into it it's um X is the number of blocks you have in here so uh, what was it? X divided by 2.5, um, plus, like, 0.5 or something, something like that. Is that right? Yeah, because it's like 10 divided by 2.5, that's 4. Uh, yeah, so it's, um, divided, X divided by 2.5 plus around point, no, not point 0.5, point, point 0.2, uh, that's how much seconds it is. So, um, 4 divided by 2.5. Uh, is 1.6 and it's raining. I'll fix that in a second. 1.6 plus 2 is so this is going to be about um, 1.8 seconds. Uh, weather clear. Uh, 1.8 or 1.9. So, uh, oh, and another advantage this has over this one is this one it takes a tick to turn on, and then it uh, this one you have to wait for this right repeater line to turn on so that's one two three four five six ticks if you want it for yeah and no matter how much you want to increase it, as long as it fits within this hopper it'll um be this exact same size so that's really cool now uh here's the part of the video where i ramble on for about a minute or so telling you some pretty cool uses for it if you um put in enough items in there i think it's like 24 I want to say uh, you, you guys should tinker with this in creative mode or something I, I, I'm not giving too precise uh, things at the moment I'm sorry about that but uh, if you have something like this and you have like a chamber over here or something uh, you can actually make a pretty effective uh, mob crusher so they get reduced down to like a heart or half heart so you can punch them to death and get your XP that way and before you would have to um, uh, use a bunch of repeaters and stuff, but not like this. Uh, just have your chamber there, and then um, you can even make it for cave spiders too. Just like uh, I think cave spiders was like six or something, but uh, don't trust mine. Just use them as uh, not precise. What was the word? Um, estimates. That's the word. Uh, another pretty good use for this is if you hook up over here. Now, um, from those who got here from Doc's M, Doc, not Doc M, Doc Redstone's video. Uh, I think I posted a link on there. Uh, going to this video, I'm not one of those guys, but uh, Doc uh, Redstone made a video. Where is the chest? There it is. Uh, Doc Redstone made a video 
on something like this, except uh, his was uh, his was used like this. Um, you have your items in there, and then um, if you have your dirt or whatever, um, I think like let's say if I want three or something, I don't know how much this will give me, or four. Let's say four. Uh, if you push the button, it'll um. If no, what what you said it over here is how much it spits out if you push the button, and uh, his was pretty compact. I was uh, impressed, and then uh, it, I made this one, and it's a bit smaller. Uh, why did that one give five that time? I think I had one already in there, or um, let me push it again. Okay, so I guess it's um whatever number you have in here plus one, and the uh, only drawback for this design is is that it can't handle just one piece of dirt. Um, I put more than one in there, didn't I? It can't handle just one piece of dirt. If it does, then uh, well, this happens. It does that, and then it won't uh it won't reset. So you're gonna have to reset it manually. Uh, I have no idea how you do that. Uh, break that, and then place your dirt in here or something or I have no idea um break that <laughs> you have to so make sure it's at least two and then it should be fine so um there we go so if I push it it should work and I have two in there right now uh those are some cool use for it, like mob crusher uh item dispenser thing you can uh, I've been making I've been working on a design where it's like cube hamster shop except uh uses this instead of the um the thing he had going on with two hoppers on each side or something, I I forget. Uh, but, yeah, um, you can use this in that too, make your own. Uh, I don't know, There's the, the possibilities for this are pretty much endless. But to expand it, I uh, have no idea how you're going to do that. And have fun, guys. Bye.